Today in the series of Doctex's KOL interviews, we have with us Dr. Varun Deshmukh, who is an orthopedic and spine surgeon. Thank you, doctor, for being with us. Thank you for calling. Shall we start with the interview? Sure. Okay. So firstly, what is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is basically weakening of the bone due to loss of mineral and loss of bone matrix. And it's usually age-related, aging of the bone causing loss of minerals and because of lot of uh, hormonal changes and uh, especially in females you have weakening of the bone that leads to osteoporosis and which factors determine the rate of bones uh, weakening it's basically age uh, especially postmenopausal is the most common cause of osteoporosis and the other metabolic disorders like renal osteodystrophy and stuff which can result in osteoporosis thank you for letting us know this what are the risk factors associated with uh, osteoporosis? Uh, osteoporosis is basically weakening of bone. So it uh, increases the risk of fractures, fragility fractures. So most common is age related or postmenopausal fractures which occur with a, uh, usually after the age of 60. And other less common complications would be back pain, multiple joint pain okay. that can cause osteoporosis. Thank you doctor. So what are the most common signs and symptoms? Basically pain. Hmm. Uh, weak, due to weakening of bone, the most of the patients present with fractures okay. uh, and main, mainly it is a pain ca which can be result of cause of osteoporosis. So it is more prevalent in women? Especially yeah, post menopausal. And what are the treatment guidelines then? Uh, basically we have to first find out whether the actual symptoms are because of osteoporosis. So there are a lot of investigations can go for blood investigations like serum calcium levels, phosphorus levels, other rule out other metabolic causes like renal causes, you can go for a renal profile and then you have investigations like radiological investigations, you can get for, go for an x-ray, see what is the bone uh, density, see porotic bones on x-rays and uh, there is an investigation known as a DEXA scan, it is a dual emission absorptiometry. Uh, XA absorptiometry, so it quantifies the level of osteoporosis and it is measured in uh, deviation of standard deviation from the standard for that age. So usually up to minus 1 is considered as normal, minus 1 to 2.5 is osteopenia and less than minus 2.5 of standard deviation is osteoporosis. So would you suggest any lifestyle modification for our community? Uh, basically lack of exercise is a common uh, reason for developing osteoporosis. So patients after a particular age should have their normal activities to, co to be continued and uh, taking calcium supplements after uh, menopause or after a certain age sometimes helps. Okay. So lastly, any message that you would like to give? Keep, keep yourself fit and healthy and uh, keep your bones strong. Thank you so much doctor for being with us. Thank it was surely an insightful discussion. Yeah, thank, thank you so much. much.